The draft lived up to the hype last night, delivering some made-for-TV drama that included tons of winners and some high-profile losers. But were those draft losers really losers at all? Laramie Tunsil fell faster in the draft than Robert Kandice off that balcony back in December. But was he a loser of the draft? I say no. He's a 21-year-old professional football player soon to be in South Beach. Just ask LeBron James how good that life can be. So maybe he lost millions, but let's not forget that there's no income tax in the state of Florida. So the big fella can make up some of that money there. He's a winner. How about his teammate, the aforementioned Robert Kandice? Many believe he could have been the top pick in this draft, but some behavioral issues saw him plummet to 29th. Draft loser, right? Wrong. The eclectic D-tackle has gone on record saying he wants a Panther when he gets that big money. Well, he's headed to the Arizona desert to play for the Cardinals. They might not have the Panthers, but the desert climate is flush with mountain lions and bobcats. That should suffice, Robert. And finally, Eli Apple. He could be considered a draft loser with his ill-fated tweet dogging his future team, the New York football giants, back in 2012. But the smooth cornerback can maneuver out of this one with ease. When asked by those tough New Yorkers about the tweet, simply claim it was the other Eli who tweeted it. Your new teammate. Yeah, that Eli. The feed is brought to you by CC's Pizza. Now there's more flavor to explore with three new flatbread pizzas on the Unlimited Buffet. CC's better believe it.